Hello my fellow riders, this is Chris at Riding Reviews and today we're going to be doing a video on a new Lexmoto Aura Euro 5 125cc moped. So today Lexmoto have released their Aura and this one is the Euro 5. Now last year they did have uh, the Lexmoto Aura but that was obviously Euro 4 and today we're just going to go through a couple of the differences between the Euro 5 model and a Euro 4 model but first I want to give Lexmoto the, the, the chance to do their um, advertising thing so I'm going to play their video here and then if you wait until the end of the video we'll go through a couple of the different specs, the price difference and what the actual physical difference is. Now, um, I know there's a bit of glare in here and it's on my glasses and it's a bit of a pain in the bum, but the problem is, is I can't see without my glasses, which means I can't get rid of the glare because I can take them off and I can see you guys and there's no glare, but I can't read my screen. So this is something that you're going to have to deal with. So anyway, let's, uh, we'll go over to my other screen uh, so that you can see exactly what the differences in between the two. First thing is tank size is exactly the same. Um, reason for this is it's it's going to be 90% the same bike. There's only be, going to be a couple of different modifications there to uh, make it so that it complies with the Euro 5. The Euro 5 compliance is mainly to uh, decrease the amount of emissions that are on uh, that the motorbike produces and through all of this sort of thing you will find that you're going to lose some performance because the catalytic converter on the euro 5 model is going to be larger than the catalytic converter on the euro 4 model and this is going to make it so that yes it burns the fuel more efficiently but you're going to lose a tiny bit of performance so we'll go through the spec uh fuel capacity eight eight on both the model so they've changed the name of the model, but it's, it's only got an E5 on the end, so there's not much difference there. Fuel capacity on the Euro 4 is saying 91.12. Um, I'm imagining or, or thinking educated guess that it's going to be somewhere in the high 80s for the Euro 5. Uh, max, it hasn't got the torque on the Euro 5 one, but it has got the horsepower. And yeah, as you can see on there, uh, the Euro 4 version is 10.3 horsepower, whereas the Euro 4 version is 97. And they have specified that the speed on both of them is going to be staying the same sort of speed. Engine, the actual physical engine itself, as you can see, is the same engine. Uh, electronics, it does say that the ignition system on the Euro 5 is EFI, but they're both actually EFI, so that doesn't really make any difference either. Shock absorbers, uh, tyre size, all of that's exactly the same and the obviously the dimensions are going to be exactly the same as well. So there's Euro 3, Euro 4, but the Euro 3 and the Euro 4 come in both these colours anyway. The main difference for the whomever is buying it 
is the price. So uh, the Euro 4 version is 1,999.99 uh, plus £100 on the road. And the Euro 5 version is 2,099.99 plus £100 on the road. You still get your two years warranty and you that is parts and labour warranty. Um, in regards to the difference in price and why it is more expensive is there's two reasons to this. Number one, this year it's been more expensive to get motorbikes into the country anyway um, because of Brexit and what happened to Felix Stowe docks. And um, so the Felix Stowe docks, what happened there is at the beginning of Brexit, they got rid of most of their employees uh, and, and during COVID also. And what happened is they had a lull. They didn't have many containers coming in. When the containers started to come back in and the ports opened, they said to the staff, oh, you can come back now and all that. And most of the staff said, um, I don't think so. We're not coming back. You you just got rid of us for no reason. Where's the loyalty? And they all said, I'm not coming back. So this is... Um, that's why the price partially went up. And it also... Catholic converters uh, have titanium in them. Um, more titanium means higher price. So, yeah. So, Lexmoto, uh, Cheap Bikes for Us has one of these left and you will be getting it at the uh, £1,999. They can deliver to anybody. We can get the Euro 5 version now and that will be £2,199 on the road. Now, I, I just thought I'd give you a quick overlay like I did with a Lexmoto LXR, and I will be doing a better uh, review on these at some point in the future. This is just a quick thing, and that glare's getting on my nerves a little bit now. Um, but yeah, so uh, that's that. A little bit of a channel update. Uh, I have actually got a favour to ask you guys. So anyway, yeah, in, in the near future... My next video, I have got a, um, I've got to ask you guys a favour and I want you to read some of the comments that somebody's sent to me and just give me what what you think, your two cents on it. Um, that will be uploaded shortly, but this one's just a, a quick glimpse into the Euro 5 Lexmoto Aura. So anyway, if you've liked this video, if you think you're getting good content, hit that thumbs up. If you don't, hit the thumbs down. It it tells that YouTube algorithm to uh, send more people my way so that you can see my content. But subscribe to my channel to stay updated to all my latest content. And as always, ride safe.